So now we're coming up towards the Mall of the Emirates. Uh, we're going to make a, a review of the Mall of the Emirates, find out what some people think of it. Um, you need to take interchange number four to get to it if you're driving, or if you're coming by metro, there's a special metro station for it. The second largest mall in the UAE. And it has an indoor ski slope. Uh, 250 flagship shops, 630 retail shops, 100 restaurants, and uh, 80 luxury shops. Find pretty much anything you can find in the Dubai Mall in here. It's just it's a little bit smaller. Over there you can see that's the ski field. So now I'm coming up to the Mall of the Emirates. Well, it looks like we better go on level 3 or 4 for the parking because there's less than 20 car parks on level 1 and 2. Looks like they haven't found the park up here today quite easily. So I believe the parking is easier than in uh, the Dubai Mall here. Um, I was at the Dubai Mall last week hour to find a park. Um, most times I go there it takes about at least 20 minutes to park. Here yeah, I can see some parks already so it looks like we're going to get the park straight away. It could just be the day and the time that we're coming. going to park next to this Mercedes coupe. So I've uh, just come to the Mall of the Emirates and parked outside this nice Mercedes. An AMG GTS. Along the way there's lots of nice sports and luxury cars. We have here a late model Corvette. Everything in Dubai is all about the look. Just walking along, passing a Maserati. And there's another Corvette. Ford Mustang, finding a park four-wheel drives. These sorts of cars, they're all very common here. So we're coming in the top entrance. It's all very nice tiles and decorations. One of the top entrances, that is. I'm sure there's lots of them. got a nice sort of layout so you can see below and above. Uh, hi, excuse me. Um, would I be able to ask you a few questions about the Mall of the Emirates? We're just making a quick video for YouTube. Yeah, sure. Great. Um, so, um, how often do you come to the shopping mall? Um, well, every week, once a week. So you are living in the UAE? Or yeah, I do live here, yeah. yeah. Not yeah. many tourists in the summer. No, 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 I yeah. know it's, it's too hot at the moment. Yeah. yeah. So are you from the UK? Or? Yes. Yeah. And how does the Mall of the Emirates compare to the shopping malls in the UK? Well, it is bigger. There's more yeah. shops and things to do. I mean, it's, it's quite flexible. You can find 
everything, like really good shops, so like affordable, some of them are not. Um, yeah, I just, I like it. So the prices are better than the UK? Well, it depends, like, no, I, I could say it's a bit more expensive, okay. but uh, I mean, when they have sales, it's good. Yeah. But they have more variety of shopping than in, uh, than in other places. Okay, great. And uh, how would you compare it to other malls in the UAE? Um, well, I like this one because it's big, but it's nice to be able to buy more. Yeah. Um, it's good places. Uh, I don't know, like... I don't even know half of these brands. This whole row here seems to be luxury, luxury shops. I wouldn't want to be here if I was on a tight budget, which I am, but it <laughs> doesn't really matter, just filming. Louis Vuitton. So, uh, I'm here at all of the My name is Michael. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, we just want to know some people's opinions about the Beautiful surroundings and more luxury stores. Seems this entire first floor is mostly luxury or designer brands.
uh, the Mall of the Emirates, the second largest shopping mall in the UAE. Prada, all the other luxury brands you can pick up pretty much over here. Uh, we're now on our way to the food court, so I'll see you in a, in a few moments. So now we're approaching Ski Dubai and the food court. There's two food courts in the Mall of the Emirates. And it looks like there's some fun zone upstairs. Obviously for the kids. So here's the ski slope, probably one of the few places you might see snow in Dubai. You don't have to go in to get a nice view of it. Minus four in there, positive 44 outside. Because we're in summer right now, that's what the temperature gets to in summer in Dubai, 44, 45 is common can actually feel like 60 some days when you take the humidity into account but there would be a good place to cool off and get away from that here's another view of the slope Here's some round balls, I don't know what they're for. Maybe they're those Zorb balls you hop inside. Hi, I'm Michael. Hi, um, I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions about what you think of the Mall of the Emirates. Yeah. Um, so, have you been to the other shopping malls in the UAE? You're a tourist here. You never really realize how many luxury brands there are until you come to a place like this.
have been here for 14 months in the last century. And where are you from? From Germany. Germany. And uh, what can you say about the Moldavari? Apart from, I mean, compared to other Moldavari, here in the UAE, what can you Why have you been here? Um, I actually came here to buy a Uber. Okay. To the air. But uh, in general, I think it's like it's not the smallest and it's not the biggest mall. It's like medium. Uh -huh. yeah. I really like it um, because there's lots of lots of different shops. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you find it? You can only find it over here in the Emirates, or in Israel? No, you can also find it in uh, say the Dubai Mall or the Batuta Mall. Is the other one that I go to? Yeah. So do you often this this here or? Uh, all the malls also, so uh, depends on what I want to get. Uh -huh. And um, compared to the malls of um, Germany, what do you say? What do you say about comparing them here? Uh, the ones in Germany are very small compared to this one, and the variety of what you can get is smaller as well. Amazing! Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. That. Okay. Okay. All Thank the best. So they've got a big movie theatre of course, lots more restaurants on the second floor. The brands on the second floor um, seem to be a mix between luxury brands and uh, normal designer brands. It's not really the mall for dirt cheap things but you can find those elsewhere. Porsche and Ferrari seem to have brands of clothes, which I didn't know about. So there's two food courts, two or maybe more than two Starbucks. Now we're in the homeware electronics area. Seems like it's more crowded on the ground floor. Um, the brands are more of your regular brands. There's a big supermarket. The supermarket in the Dubai Mall isn't very big, so that's an advantage if you're coming here. There's another food court in here. I won't go and show it because it's more or less the same, but the one we were in before is close to the ski slope, so more to see there. Even if you don't make it to the food court, you're not going to go hungry. There's juice and donut bars all around the place. There's some maps which you can find your way around the shopping mall with. No um, digital touchscreen map like there is in the Dubai mall, but Anyway, it's a bit smaller, so it's a bit easier to find your way around. Three levels.
looks like you can even buy an apartment here.